What is up guys? James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing the weekly reading for the week of January 26th through February 1st. Whoa, one month of 2020 in the books. I'm personally super excited because uh, this time next week I'm going to be in Tucson, Arizona for the Tucson Gem Show. I couldn't be happier. Uh, I set this intention like six, seven, actually probably last year at this time. I set the intention of I'm going to Tucson this year because I missed last year. Uh, and so it's coming to pass. It's all manifesting. It's all happening. It just shows that uh, if you really want something, it can happen. So I'm not sure if I'll have uh, a weekly reading next week. I'm going to try my best to do so, but uh, no promises. I'm really going to try though. Okay. <laughs> Uh, today we're going to be talking about this upcoming week. We're fresh off a, a new moon in Aquarius. And if you uh, are a tarot reader and if you want a new moon spread, I encourage you to check out my last video where I share my favorite new moon spread. It's a, it's it's very informative and it helps you to understand which intentions you should be focusing on for this manifestation period of the new moon. So um, check that out if you haven't seen it already. Today we're going to be using Tarot of Pirates. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cool tarot deck. Um, I like it a lot, uh, but before we get into this reading, I just want to do my little routine of playing some singing bowls and, you know, just getting into a meditative state. And of course, as always, you may skip this part if you so desire. Um, and um, yeah, if you don't want to skip it, then uh, take some deep breaths, close your eyes and just uh, let the, the singing bowls work their magic. I don't know a better way of getting into a meditative state, uh, cleansing your space just so quickly and so easy. Not even crystals can bring me to the state of calm that these bowls do. So I hope you're loving them as much as I am. All right, let's get to the Tarot of Pirates, our Avasti. Uh, and let's take a look at this upcoming week. Uh, the first card we're going to look at is this one, and it represents the overall energies we can expect from this upcoming week. And we've got the Magician. I have to read this deck a little bit more intuitively since it's not exactly Rider Waite Smith. So give me a moment with this card and uh, we'll see what it means for the overall energies of this week. The vibes I'm getting from this card is to not be afraid to really channel your creativity this week. And you know, when we when we hear the word creativity, so often we think, oh, it's art, right? Oh, it's something that you do in your off time, um, when you have some free time, right? To, you might do some watercolor or some painting, or you might, uh, I don't know, whatever society thinks, right? It's generally some, some pastime. But what I'm getting from this card is, you know, creativity is an every facet of your life in our lives uh, you're 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 creative in so many different ways that maybe you've become accustomed to because it's just part of your life right the way you brush your teeth can be creative the way you go to work can be creative uh, the way you interact with someone can be creative and what this card is saying to me is really go for it um, don't kind of censor yourself in all aspects of your creativity um, this week is, is a, a week to um, really be yourself as you're creating things. I think that's the best way to put it. And you know, when when we're um, 
when outside influences affect us, when we allow outside influences to affect us, I think it compromises our creativity. But when we are in tune with our higher self, when we're allowing our kindred spirit to come out of us, to flow out of us, then uh, we're creating exactly what we want to be creating. There's no muddled waters. And uh, I think this card is asking us to be cognizant of how creative we are in every aspect of our lives um, from brushing your teeth to driving to work to interacting with people to doing art right that's it's all it's all creativity um, we're creating we're manifesting every second every nanosecond of our lives we're creating so make sure that you're creating from a place of authenticity this week uh, and don't let the outside influences affect you as much and i think your your manifestations especially that now that we're in the, the new moon energy i think it, since it's the new moon energy is time to manifest um i think you're gonna have better manifestations as a result so this week focus on making stuff and um and not just making stuff but on on how you create and, and be authentic about it all right, this card here represents uh, what to hold on to this upcoming week. What to focus on. And we've got the Queen of Wands. Give me a moment with this one. Wow, it's this very similar energy that I'm getting from her. <laughs> uh, she don't give a F, right? She's The Queen of Wands here is just doing what she wants to do. Uh, and again, she's not really being dictated by outside influences. She's imposing her energy, her will, her desires onto this reality that we're living in. And I think that's her message for us this week is impose your will, impose your reality. Don't let other people dictate what you're going to do, say, feel, think, right? Um, and, and really put your, put your action out into the world without worrying about those things. I know for myself personally, I, I'll have a little checklist of, you know, before I do something, like how, who's, how, how are my friends going to feel about this? How am my family going to feel about this, right? Uh, you know, is society going to look down on this, right? And, and it's almost subconscious, but I think we all do it. And I think uh, we allow that to censor ourselves. We allow that to, to control what we do. Um, where instead, we should be letting our higher selves, uh, whatever you want to call it, our soul, our divine guidance, whatever you want to call it, we should be letting that dictate what we do, what we say, what we think, what we feel. Uh, because it's authentic. And if we do that, we're going to be in alignment with our purpose. And if we're in alignment with our purpose, we're going to find happiness in every nanosecond, okay? So uh, I think that it's very important this week to really do you. That's the overall message I'm getting so far, uh, and it's loud and clear. So uh, I don't want to say more than that because I think it's pretty that's pretty a strong message, okay? So let's go on to this card, which represents uh, what to let go of this week, what to forget about, what not to focus on. We've got a lot of court cards here we got the king of swords give me a moment with this card oh okay the feeling i'm getting from this is don't be so set in your ways don't think you know it all <laughs> okay to me this king of swords guy he he's been a pirate for so long that you can't tell him how to how to loot and, and plunder booty okay he's gonna loot and plunder booty the way he knows how the way it's the best way because it's my way uh, and this card is suggesting that that's kind of self-destructive uh, be open right if we're gonna be open to our higher selves and the way our higher selves wants to create it's going to seem counterintuitive because we've been allowing our ego to create for so long we have that mental checklist where we we worry about what other people are going to say and so we we don't create from a place of authenticity and so we're used to that and that's the way we want to do it this card is saying uh, release that kind of um set system of beliefs don't think you know it all don't think your way is the only best way and if if you can move out of that energy then you're going to be even more creative because you're going to experiment with new things and you're going to allow spirit to guide you uh, your higher self to guide you to new things and, and better things and when we're, we're led to new and better things we grow we advance we we experience new things and, that, and you know to me that's the point of being a human or at least as the point of existence is to grow and expand. So uh, I think this week is going to be a huge opportunity for many of us to try some new things. Uh, I think we're going to have to be 
uh, willing to move out of our comfort zone. We have to be willing to realize we don't know everything. We have to get out of our stuck modes of thinking that we sometimes have. Uh, and if you allow yourself to do that, I see potential for uh, new creative juices flowing here. This seems like a great month for, for new creative things to come out. So that's very cool. I like it. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. If you stuck with me this long, I do have a little pirate joke that I could tell you. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, why not? It's the corniest joke you've ever heard, but I love it. It's one of my favorite jokes. So a pirate walks into a bar and he's got a steering wheel attached to his belt buckle, like his, his belt, his steering wheel, his belt buckle is a steering wheel. And the bartender says, excuse me, pirate, why do you have a steering wheel attached to your belt buckle? And the pirate says, "Ah, it's driving me nuts. I don't know if I'm supposed to pause for laughter. Are you guys laughing? Okay, got one more. I got one more. If that wasn't corny enough for you. <laughs> uh, this one's, everyone's heard this one, but uh, what's a pirate's letter? R? No, it's not R. Uh, it'd be the C. Pause for laughter. Oh, there's no laughter? I'm sorry. Anyway, let's uh, move on to <laughs> enough of that. Let's move on to uh, the oracle card like I like to pull at the end of a reading. Uh, this is the Sacred Earth Oracle, and we're going to ask it uh, what overall message it has for us this upcoming week. What overall message for this upcoming week? It be the sea. <laughs> I love dad jokes. I, I love jokes that are like a play on words. Those are my favorite. Okay, got to zoom out a little bit here. That's good. All right, let's check out the message for this upcoming week. Didn't I pull this the other week? I remember seeing this card. All right, let's uh, give me a moment to go into this. Oh, the message is clear already. You are your own worst enemy. <laughs> <laughs> that's the message that's popping out to me is we are our own worst enemy. there's no one on this planet there's no one in this galaxy there's no one in this solar system that blocks you as much as you block you and i think that's something that you know looking at these uh, cards here uh, the previous cards that's something that is going to be coming up this week how do you block you and how can you let that blockage go uh, and therefore allow yourself to create from an authentic place. I think that's going to be a kind of an issue for a lot of us this week, or maybe not an issue, but like a focus for this week. Uh, and so in order to create from a place of authentic authenticity, we have to be cognizant of how we're limiting ourselves, how we're stopping ourselves. And um, I think this is kind of the first step, right? <laughs> this is the first step in, in creating authentically, is figuring out well, how you're stopping yourself. Uh, so where are you creating your friction in your life? How are you uh, stopping yourself from, from creating from a place of authenticity? If you can ask yourself that question this week, you're going to be doing a-okay. Uh, just simply asking the question is all it takes. The universe will give you an answer in time. Maybe not when you expect it or how you expect it, but it will answer you. So if you ask that question this week, I think you're going to be doing great. I think you're going to be moving towards creating from a place of authenticity. All right, friends, that's the reading. I'm, I apologize for the jokes. <laughs> I don't know why I know so many pirate jokes. I just do. Uh, but that's uh, that's just me. So uh, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Leave some comments in the comment section telling me what you thought of this reading. I, you know, maybe it didn't resonate with you. That's fine. Let me know. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. And I want to wish you a great and happy week. Love and light to you all. Thanks for watching. Happy tarotting. Peace.